Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! Grab a cold one. It's Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Drez and Huck. What a lovely sound it is on Bruise Day Tuesday. It is Drez along with Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz. And of course, Bruise Day Tuesday is brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store. Um, however, I guess, Huck, we're not really going to be drinking brews on this Brews Day Tuesday. I know... No, we're changing it up a little bit. Uh, you just handed me something in a, in a rocks glass, a little clinky clinky. So do we make... You want me to make both these drinks at the same time? I think so. Or, yeah, and I think we make them both contrast. and we can just kind of, yeah, swiggle them or whatever. So, so the uh, first thing I handed you, and it's, it's, kinda, it's beer related. You know, sometimes it needs to be beer related, even if it's not. This it's is, good to have a tie-in. It's from Dogfish Head, and this is called Sonic Archaeology. And this is a mixed drink they sell, a cocktail, because I guess in Delaware you can do that. I'm, I don't know if you can <laughs> in Virginia, but let's not go there. Uh, Prohibition-inspired cocktail. You might, I don't know. You're right. There's so it, many whack rules. It's, uh, it's whiskey, rum, and apple brandy with honey, lemon, and pomegranate. Coming in at a hearty, like, I'm uh, sure, like, not 5%. Like we're 25%. Kind of, so woo! Yeah. We're having a good time. Having a good time today. Uh, so it's it's good. So then we're going to do another drink that I'm going to pour here. This is some uh, Floyd County moonshine. Floyd County, wait, what? Floyd County moonshine. Proper moonshine? No, it's from a distillery. So Okay. Where, no, where's nobody it? did it in their backyard. Where's it from? Floyd. County moonshine? County. It's right in town, actually, the distillery. Oh, um, oh yes, yes, yes. Yes, Five Mile Mountain. Five Mile Mountain. Oh, and then you're – oh, so we need a twist of lime with it, we're gonna do put, we? We're going to squeeze like a half a lime. We, so I pour the liquor in over ice. I'm going to squeeze a half a lime. And squeeze, and, drink. squeeze and plop it in. Right. Now, I couldn't help but notice what a lovely piece of cutware you're using <laughs> for uh, that lime. So Drez brings me this knife, and I go, well, that's Cutco Cutlery. Drez goes, yeah, I used to sell it. And I said, yeah, so did I. <laughs> no, actually, that was vice versa. You said you used yeah, to sell it. But I'm just like, saying we both. We both sold Cutco, so, as, which so is we're funny. we the same, stuff. even were though you, we're different. I, I bet you were, pro- I mean, just like me, I bet you were pretty good at it, I weren't was. you? I sold Tupperware, too. Uh, I never sold Tupperware. Yeah, I used to make drinks in Tupperware. Seriously, I sold Cutco Cutlery. My like, uh, I guess it was the summer between my freshman and sophomore year of college, and I only sold it for like a couple months. I must have made like at least three grand in commission. Like that's better than any sort of a freaking minimum oh, wage yeah. job you were gonna yeah. get. Yeah. T- so I've I've refrained. So, I haven't sipped either of these yet. So which, then I just put the Krabby's original alcoholic uh, beer on top. The, the ginger beer. Ginger beer. Right. So are you starting with that one? All yeah, right, let's start. start. So this is so it's Krabby's ginger beer. Like is it about half and half? Is that what you did? Yeah, it's about half and half. A little more ginger beer than liquor. So the liquor is it's Floyd County Elderberry Moonshine from Five Mile oh my Mountain God, Distillery. That's and it's eighty proof spirits distilled from cane and grain. So they used cane. I remember he was telling us this. We went up on a tour there, had a good time. You said this is Elderberry? Elderberry. What exactly is an Elderberry? It comes from the Old berries? The ball, it's the balls ba- of bears the berries, up on the mountains. <laughs> the berries that have been there a long time, and they become the elder berries. We had a long discussion, and in the end, nobody really knows. <laughs> Apparently, they, they get them, they grow them up in the mountains somewhere in West Virginia, and they pick them, and they do sell them to these guys, and they use them. They don't, you know, they come from some organic, you know, it's Floyd, organic elderberry farm. So, but I don't know. They're kind of like, they're kind of berryish, but they're kind of a little bitter, I think. Like a bitter berry. Mm-hmm. It's a bit bitter berry. It's a little bitter berry. So I, I drank a bunch of these at a wedding, and uh, I burned out on them, but they're still, the, the first one's going to be good. Yeah. I, could, it, I don't think you want to have it, more it, than two or three. I can definitely see that. I mean, the first sip was like, woo, but I, I mean, there's no, yeah, I can see how it could get old <sighs> kind of quick. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, but it's good. It's definitely good. Now, have you tried the uh I just a little jam? sip. I know you poured this one first, so it's actually kind of it might be getting a little watered down, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. So the dogfish said it has what sort of notes? It said what orange and something and all this crap. rum. I get I get the rum, uh, li- lemon and pomegranate. Yeah, pomegranate. Okay, 
Apple brand. Yeah, this is, honey, this might just have too many things in it. It's it's not bad. It's interesting. You know what I like? What? Drinking on the radio with you, Huck. I love you, man. I know. One sip of this 25% beers. But and usually, I love yeah, you. usually we're drinking like 6 8% beers. And here we are going after mixed drinks. Yeah, but I mean, this is also on Brews Day Tuesday. This is twenty five percent is the light is a lighter load. Plus, this is the first sips. You know, we didn't. I didn't pregame. I, I, somebody might have. Somebody might have. <laughs> somebody always does. So I won't say who? Well, I guess here's a question: Can you untap these? I, I'm assuming. I guess is look, cr- you, Krabby's is probably on. Yeah, untapped, I, I maybe. think there's a liquor untapped. We we could check, look at the Sonic. Yeah, you can pull it up. Yeah, I bet there. Sonic is probably on because there. it's. Dogfish head. I don't know. It is dogfish head. That's the only reason why I would imagine it would be. Well, let's look. But let's I, I, just I, I look. wouldn't surprise me, even though Krabby's is non-alcoholic, correct? No, it is alcoholic. Oh, what's in, how much is booze is in Krabby's? Four point eight. Oh, so it's that'll... illegal to have a ginger beer in America for some reason. I do not know what it is. What do you mean? You can't make alcoholic ginger beer in America. So then, what's that? It's from Scotland. Oh, you can you can sell it here, but you can't. Make it here. I was told, and I've never seen any. What kind of a same kind of all is the it, <laughs> you talking about? You said in America though, not in, not in Virginia. Virginia has dumb laws. We can United all agree States. with this. I think it's in the United States. What kind of a sense does that make? I don't That's, know. I don't know. Huck. You might need to check your facts. That sounds. Too I never check my facts. That sounds my too stupid to be fine real. Where they are. That's crazy though. I, I feel like there was gotta, no I know Sonic Krabby's, on there. It seems like Krabby's is the go-to ginger beer. Like that's the that's only one that really comes to mind when I. Think of ginger Grunger beer. Grunger beer. You'd probably like Grunger beer. Grunger beer. Ginger beer. USA. Go. Let's see how Mr. Google says. How Mr. Nope. Google. From Bermuda? Nope. Yep. Nope. Not from around here. What's from Bermuda? Is it Gosling? By chance? Barrett's Bermuda ginger beer. Oh, Barrett's. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more lime in mine. Just in time. Yeah, I'm feeling Okay, fine. today's brewed ginger beers are... Qu- are Categorized as non-alcoholic because their alcohol content is less than 0.5 percent, which meets FDA regulations. regulations. Yes, there you have it. Stupid. They are here to protect us. Stupid, and we, not let we us are being ginger protected beer. Protected so hard from, Virginia, <laughs> from ginger beer. Thank I, goodness. I feel so good. But um, you know what I would wonder about this because you know they have the orange crabbies. Have you had that? Mm-mm. You haven't had that one. They had it where I got this. Yeah, I would. At, I would at the seller six pack store. Oh, you don't they say. It. Did you get it this past Tuesday? <laughs> I did. They have it. Mm. Mm. Honestly, well, I finished the first one. The dogfish head. And that's good. The dogfish head went down quicker and easier. I, yeah. I don't know. I think I might have liked the dogfish head a little better. Yeah, I do too. So if I was going to untap the dogfish head, they ha- and again, I'm, I'm going to get. I'm going to condition this that this is the first alcoholic drink. Mixed beverage from a brewery I've had, so I'm going to give it a four, which is a safe. It's good, but I might get a better one. I'm right around there with you. Yeah, I, so I, a four on that. I, actually, maybe a hair above four. I would maybe say a four two five. Oh, so I now mean, now we know what you like. It's it's got a liquor. nice it's got a nice hearty ABV. Of course, I like liquor, oh, no. um, <laughs> okay. and it's different. Plus, I do love Dogfish Head, man. Yeah, well, I love everything that they're doing over you there. You should have come on that trip. Yeah, I know. It was fun. Yeah, but anyway, you didn't. You guys know that trip. Everybody knows what we're talking about here, right? The, the beer, beer conference. conference. Beer now. Beer now. Beer now. Beer now. Um, no now beer for now. this this crazy uh, this crazy pomegranate. Uh, what do you call it? Moon, pomegranate moonshine from yeah. Floyd, Floyd County? Elderberry moonshine. Elderberry, yeah. Elderberry. Elderberries. The Monty Python fans get the relation. You know, your breath smells like elderberries. Or isn't it like your mother smells yeah, like elderberries? Yeah, your mother. Yeah. Something. Or how about how about your uh, father? Smells of it. Now, this would only be better if there was member berries. Huh? <laughs> How about that reference? Remember? Yeah, remember yeah. remember when we drank member berries? Yeah, everybody members. Member berry member? members. Members. Mm. Mm. So, anyway, so now we have, this is like our third liquor show this year. Well, it's going to continue. Uh, do you want to untap uh, this, the elderberry chain? I, I feel like it's, I can definitely see, like, it was... It's one of these ones where it's good to untap it once you finish it because the first sip I was like, yeah, yeah. into it, and now it's like, yeah, yeah I'm going to give it a three seven five. I'm right around there with you. Maybe but I will three, say five. that when I tasted the moonshine straight, and I'm going to give them a little plug. They, they have a really nice tasting room. They're very knowledgeable, and it was probably a four. Cool by itself. So uh, 
this this theme will continue as we continue with mixed drinks and slash do, pre-mixed drinks. Do we have a special guest? Well, that's the thing. If you were watching on the video, you'll notice that we are in Studio B today. And there's another party with us. There is another party, and that's actually going to go with the theme the of uh, the next segment. We call that a tease, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce Day Tuesday will continue. We'll play a song, and we'll come back. You and uh, You need to do ooh. one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. We could do that. <laughs> we could do that. Because I think we had all those in the room. I think you might be right. <laughs> we will continue. Bruce Day Tuesday after this. Stick around.